from the work that we've done uh, as a team, I think we've identified four areas where we see South Africa having an advantage. And it's really based off uh, natural resources, uh, endowments that we have, based from solar, wind, and, and also available land uh, where we can carry out these developments. I think that's key, and, and that's one major, um, I think, advantage that we have. And second, South Africa is geographically well positioned as a hedge market. And with, you know, the, I guess some of the global trading partnerships that we have with the countries that uh, have expressed needs uh, to access uh, green hydrogen. Um, we've got, as you mentioned, uh, Davis, we've got mineral uh, reserves and processing capability from both the mining and, and industrial um, you know, sector uh, point of view. We've got well-developed de industry. We've got access to technical um, skills and experience uh, that will ensure that you know, we're able to develop um, as a country in terms of uh, green hydrogen. And <clears throat> from Sassel's uh, perspective, I think we've got deep experience in FT technology, uh, and uh, Sassel has been producing grey hydrogen for many, many years, and um, that, I think, is a big advantage um, for us in terms of our know-how and ability when it comes to handling and understanding, um, you know, uh, uh, hydrogen. And uh, Sassel also has experience in, um, in producing um, chemicals and, and foods as well. Um, and so that also we see as an advantage that can be leveraged to put South Africa in, in, a, in a base position to, uh, to, to develop as a green uh, hydrogen economy. Um, for the country's perspective, I think, you know, taking into account the economic situation where we are at the moment where we're really desperate for job creation, we're really desperate for for projects that will enable the economy to grow, looking into the future and in a sustainable manner as well. Um, so we see green hydrogen as a great opportunity for South Africa, looking at obviously what we have and what we can what we can play with um, and positioning the country for uh, green hydrogen hubs. Mm -hmm. And we see some local uh, opportunities. Uh, with companies that are looking to decarbonize and access green hydrogen for their own operations. And Sassel is one of those, I think, at the top of, uh, of this list of industrial companies locally that are looking to uh, for alternative sources of energy um, that, will in a, that will enable the, you know, the achievement of the targets that have been set for 2050. Uh, we see, um, you know, about 400 million tons per annum of uh, demand globally for sustainable um, fuel. We see uh, about two, uh, <clears throat> more than um, 2,000 million, more than uh, 200 million tons per annum of um, demand for things like sustainable steel. Uh, I think that's one industry that um, goes for local and, and export. There's I um, mean, 670 million tons per annum sustainable ammonia requirements globally that we see um, South Africa being able to tap into into those uh, into those markets, uh, and so we're pretty excited about the opportunities that green hydrogen, you know, presents for South Africa specifically and basically for our industry and what we have to play with. We believe it will position us to. Uh, to be able to produce green hydrogen and green hydrogen derivatives competitively and be able to compete globally as a country.